Alrighty guys, so today we are going to be going and getting the last five artifacts I need. You heard me right, last five. So, the first three that we will be going after are the snow cave ones. So we're actually going to go for the double cave first, or what people consider the hard ice cave here on the center, I've been told. So... Yeah, we're just going to hop right into this, and I'm going to get over there, and I'll give you guys the coordinates before I go in. And yeah, anyways, let's get started. Oh, also, before I run off, I just want to show you guys here, I got my Pyro main army ready to go. We just need the artifacts now. Also, I did get the Utai ready to go. I just need to get a decent saddle for it. I have one, I just don't know if I want to use it. I, You know what, I probably should just use it, just because... Alrighty guys, so we are here at the hard ice cave. Mammoths are uh, roaring. But if you guys are wondering what the coordinates are, latitude 21.6, longitude 27.2. Yeah, that is where we need to go. Or you need to go to be right on the entrance. So what we're going to do is we're just going to fly in like so. Now, I did think about bringing the Megalodon for this, and I honestly probably should have, like, in hindsight, but... I, oh, lag! Trying to do that while you're entering a cave does cause some lag. But I wanted to kind of, uh, swim, because I got me a uh, scuba tank and some flippers. I know, it's not the best. Also, I just realized I've been running around with primitive pants, like, this entire time. And luckily, actually, Pyromane is demolishing in here. I think the only part that we would have trouble with here is going to be the swimming. Um. Okay. You go up in that. And we'll go with this. And we swim down. So this way is one way. And this was kind of also why I decided not to do the Megalodon. Is because... Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure the Megalodon would have got stuck doing this cave. Maybe not on the other side, but at least on this side. Also, I need to eat food when we get out. Also... Um, I don't like this. Oh, there's the, the hole. Okay, I found the hole, guys. Not the, not the first time I've ever had to say that. Alrighty, so. Let's re-equip our gear here. And we will pop out Pyro. No, now, okay, the Yeti there kind of scared me because I didn't know if it was a statue or not. But yeah, it's a Yeti. Could I? No. Are Yetis tameable? I don't think Yetis are, but I might have to look into that. Are Yetis tameable in Ark? That's a question. Also, is my game messed up? No, I'm just not. Oh, there we go. I'm not talking directly into the mic, sorry. Sorry about the audio, my people. Got it fixed. So we're going to get this end of the cave cleared. Then we're going to focus on finding the artifact. I'm just going to full on keep on chomping. Just keep on catching video. Oh, these dire wolves have a... Or 150. I really don't care though, because I already got two dire wolves over on the island. That I was in the process of breeding together. I was going to use them for the Explorer notes, but then I just decided that we we're going to go full on, like, just use the old Explorer map, get us as close as possible, and yeah, that worked. Now, where is the artifact? It should be in this room. Right? Or is this the wrong place? Something tells me it's this way. Ch -ch -ch -ch. 
anything? I don't know where the artifact is. Oh. What is this? I know I probably shouldn't do that. I do got grappling hooks on me, though. Um. I've never been in this cave. And it is clearly obvious. Huh. Is it this room? Oh, I found an artifact. I gotta go do a little tiny research. This might be the artifact I'm looking for. But, artifact of the clever. Okay, let me do a tiny bit of research. Oh yeah, no, this was the right path. I just didn't think it was this far. Now we have to go back and get artifact of the devourer. Yeah, that's the next one. Artifact of the Devourer is the next artifact we gotta get. Okay, this is a little tricky. Luckily, we have done the entirety of the Ice Cave Spider-Man style before. Uh, that was the Ice Cave back on the island, though. I will be honest. Well, I don't really need to fight you. I could have probably just ran by. The fact that there's spiders in this cave is a little annoying, because they slow you down for like a good eight seconds. I think it's like six, five, maybe. It might be five seconds. Ow. Slammed right into the roof. Okay, so we are back in the water. We're going to go third person here, just so I can kind of see where I need to go. Going back this way. Now we're going to get back to the crossroad, and I will get back with you guys. Okay, so we are now at the crossroad, so that way leads to the clever. This way should lead to the devourer, and now if I'm correct, the devourer was the easy one, and I kind of thought that the clever was the other way around, you know? I thought this was going to be the long side. I'm pretty sure this is the short one, but it's going to be a room just filled with enemies. I might be, you might be able to fit a Megalodon through here. Definitely an Ichthyosaur, if you guys are worried about, like, traversing this. Um, we're clearly not seeing any, uh, creatures, so. Oh yeah, we are not. Now we get the Pyromane out, we just... Look at that. Oh no. All the dire wolves. There's... God, oh, this actually might be the one that actually is really long. Also, why am I, uh... I'm not holding fire trail. Oh, there's the artifact. It's right there. Okay. Alright, I should... I will go back slowly here for you guys to the entrance, so that way you guys can see the path to the artifact. Oh, no! I fell in the water. Looks like I can go wham up here, and there's an actual staircase. So, yeah, there's stairs right there you can follow. If you don't have a pyromane, I guess. Get rid of these wolves. Saber tooth. And then... Should be good here. Just take that. 
And then we go wham, we go swoom. Now, from this way around. Now, alright, we out of stamina or did I just, yeah. I just fumbled it. Now, if I believe, we'll get rid of these wolves real quick so I can uh, properly, no, oh, wolf ran off. I believe it's this way. And then, technically you could have gone either way around that pillar. But, yeah. Here is the pool. So I will put my gear on. That was the wrong inventory. I'm going to put my gear on like so. And then control C. And now we should be good to get out of this cave. Now, which way did I need to go? That's the worst part about having all these crystals around. Sometimes you can't quite see the path you need to take. Is this the right? Yeah. Yeah, this is the right way. I got a little concerned there for a second. Okay, so now we are going to go over here to the other ice cave and get the artifact of the Sky Lord. And we should be good for the ones in the ice biome. Now, then I'm pretty sure the ones that are left are the ones in the underworld. So, yeah, we'll, I guess we'll get to explore the underworld a tiny bit today as well. Um, now, I was oh, a little bit of a stutter. I was thinking about this last night. Or earlier today once we establish like the ability to bring over all my creatures or whatever my genetic library because that's all I'm gonna allow um, I have to get every resource off of this map no more transferring transferring structures or resources I feel like that's a way too much cheaty and I honestly kind of feel like honestly I feel like this center series was extremely cheaty just because of bringing over Blossom and Littlefoot. <clears throat> Littlefoot quite literally helped me get 15,000 metal in less than an hour. Do you understand? Alright. And we that was within the first two days of being on the center. Okay. I had an indie forge in a week. That's, that's insane for me. Alright. And it, again, also, it's the fact of, like, my settings and all that. And I do want to actually kind of change up my settings here recently. People have been asking for a settings video, and it has got me thinking. So, uh, we will actually hopefully have that ready here soon. Alrighty, guys. So, here is the cave. Uh, if you guys need a better look around of where we are. We're over by the, was it, the land bridge. Just over here, kind of towards the base of this, uh mountain where it connects to the land bridge like the first cliff up uh here are the exact coordinates it's 60.5 19.5 so yeah uh i've been told this one's considered the easy ice cave so may as well give it a shot now i'm gonna get you cryopotted up i already had a cryopot in my hand boom and then oh no there we go. Okay, we're good to go in this cave. Um, now, I was told that there is a T-Rex in the wall. I've never seen this before, but apparently it's something that was an ASE. Look at the fire. It's just ripping through them. This dude is absolutely a god-tier caving creature. And it's mostly just because of the shoulder mount. Well, the shoulder mount part isn't the main thing that makes it good. It's mostly the fire. Honestly. Because, like, even in the ice cave here, he's keeping me warm. And I was told these caves are, like, extremely, extremely cold. There's a lot of yetis. Okay, I think we got a good area cleared. Um, do I go down here? I don't know where I go. Um, I think over here, though, is the ice wall that I was told to go look at. Yeah, that's the one with the wrecks in it, like Ice Age. Oh, yeah, I like that. Okay, I think I was also told, like, once I find that, to keep heading straight down this cave... 
and it's like the quickest way to the artifact. Thank you, Andy. Okay. Was I wrong? I thought they said this was the quickest way. Oh, I'm not done following the path. That's why. Yep. There it is. That would be Artifact of the Sky Lord. We're just going to transfer that here. And well, bam. Now, let me see what I got here for tech armor. We're getting actually like some really good bits. Um. These are actually somewhat good. Now, mind you, uh, I did go through and I redid my uh, my drops. So the tech blueprints drop from all artifacts and even the bosses. And they have the ability to drop from dog, dog shit trash to uh, god tier is so expensive you might never be able to craft one piece of it. But then again, it's tech armor and if you're ever able to craft it, it's going to be just insane. And wha bam, and like that, this cave is done. Okay, so the next artifact we're going after is artifact of the pack. Now there's multiple ways to get this, but thanks to Ras Clark's video, I know the quick way. And thanks to me running around exploring earlier, leveling up all my pyro mains, I found the entrance. So. This here, right in this area on the map, the 56.8, 47.2, these ruins here that you find are a good starting point. Now, if I recall, I go through and they're, no, it's, uh, it's somewhere around here. I know that it was somewhere around these ruins. I was right. It is that those ruins right there. You just keep going straight up the path and then wabam, you're here. And then this exact coordinates are 54.2 and 49.1. I know it's kind of hard to see there with the pyromane things. And I was told to, well, in the video, wasn't really told. He went straight, like, followed the path as straight as he could here. Like, it was a straight, sheer straight shot. I might have to shoulder you up, my man. Your, water, your heat just went out. Why'd your heat just go out? Okay, and it's down in here, right? This is going to also be the lava jumping puzzle, correct? Oh, no. I gotta do, I don't know. Oh, yeah, this is, uh, this is the jumping puzzle cave. I just got confirmed here. I had to watch further ahead in the video. It looks really cool, though. I didn't even realize this was it when I first walked in. I just hit the water, damn. Put out the fire. Now, if I am correct, okay, got a small problem now, shoot, I just cut the line, oh no, I don't like this. You actually swim faster than I do, kitty. Go up. Up, 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 up. Oh, this is a problem. Because if there's a Sarko... Mm. There's a little ledge over here. We're going to swim over to it. I knew that was a stupid idea, honestly. Maybe we can get, like, on a ledge here a tiny bit. Skyrim horse a bit up the ledge, cat, maybe? No, no, no. It does not look like that's going to be possible. Let's not get trapped in a corner, either. Oh, also, maybe if I hold shift while swimming, he'll go faster. Look it. If I hold shift, he books it in the water okay now where do I need to go let's head up here now I need 
to find a way o up and over to that. Now, unfortunately, I landed in the water again. I think I gotta keep going straight this way. Does this, like, loop back up and up? Well, does it loop back around and up? No, this actually goes down. I don't want to go down, do I? This looks like it's changing bio. Oh, yeah, no, this is changing bio. This is taking me into the underground. Like, the actual underground. Um, okay. I gotta find a way to get up and onto that one building ledge. With the pyro main. Because that's where I was told to go. Hold up. I just fell back in the water and I noticed this little area here. Five bucks, this leads right up to where I need to go. I feel like this is going to lead right where I need to go. Especially when I turn around like so. Oh, nope. Keep going up. Is this not it? No, this is. Maybe. Maybe. This looks like it. Yes. Yes. Now, if I am correct, I go crossed here. I just keep going across, and then this is going to be the jumping puzzle eventually. Was it this hole that he told me to go through? No, oh, we don't want to be in here. Um, ooh, you know what we need to do? Is turn off the, the fog. There we go. There we go. Fog is now turned off, and we can actually see everything in this cave. Now... No, 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 no. Okay. Maybe. I got a plan. It's not the smartest plan, but it is a plan. Doesn't work, though, if I bounce off the wall. I don't want to do the jumping puzzle because I don't have a grapple hook. I don't have a... Parachute. I don't really have anything. I am doing this currently with a pyro main. Okay. Oh my god. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. I don't want to do this. Because I don't see where to go. No, 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 no. No, no. Hold up. I remain, please jump again. Okay, I don't know what just happened there. You didn't die. Um, you were taking damage, though. I can see that you were taking damage. Um, damn it. I got a plan. It's a stupid, stupid plan. But it might work. Because I need to get up to there. I don't have grapple hooks. And I don't want to have to head back to go get grapple hooks. Okay. Oh, no. Let's, uh, let's quit playing in the lava. Okay. 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 
Okay. Okay, there we go. That's what I was trying to do. I was trying to get up on that the whole time. All right, now, if I'm correct, artifact right there. Yes. Yes. All right, now we have one more artifact. And honestly, guys, this one's at the bottom of the ocean. So we are actually going to be running back to the base to go hop on the Megalodon and to grab... Do I still have my scuba gear on me? Yeah. And, uh, yeah, all we actually have to do is run back and get the Megalodon. So... Luckily, this was a lot easier than I thought it would be. It was just a little tricky, though, to find your way uh, back in here. Hopefully, I can find my way out. What's down here? Okay, that's the water. Now, I need to, like, hang an immediate left, right? Wow. And then, wha-bam. Pop over here. This thing is so pay to win as well, the pyro main. I'm not going to lie to you guys. Like, I would not be able to do this stuff this fast without it. It is perfect for caving, and I'm pretty sure it's going to be perfect for a boss fight as well. Only time will tell, though, on the boss fight. We already have proven that it is good for a cave. But yeah, anyways, I'm going to get back to base. Okay, we are back home. We're going to land. I'm going to drop everything I've gotten off, including the artifacts here real quick. That is just in case while I'm doing this I die. I actually need both those. So we'll transfer this stuff over. And what I'm going to do here as well, I'm not going to turn the fog back on just yet. Just because, also, I know this is not where I put this stuff. I'm throwing all my tech blueprints in here and I re need to reorganize. Um, but yeah, let me get back on track. So I know that I have my fog still turned off and we're going to leave it off here. Just so that way finding this last artifact is beyond easy. Look at this. Like, we can see. I, I've i been thinking about this as well. Do I just leave the fog off now all the time? Because I've noticed that's what a lot of YouTubers have been do doing. It's just no fog. And, I mean, it looks really good. Like, look at this. We can kind of see everything around us. I mean, we can even see the Atlantis bubble. See artifacts. Oh, no, that's not an artifact. That's a jellyfish. Is that a jellyfish, too? Yeah, that's a, that's a jellyfish. Okay, so... Oh, there's a so Shastosaurus or whatever they are. I don't know what level that one is, but... Yeah, anyways, let's get over to where the artifact is. I am not joking, guys. It is quite literally straight down from here. It is that ledge right down there at the bottom. Now, there is one thing, though, I do not like here. Oh, I guess, uh, I guess it is. It does have a floor. It just has to load in. I was about to say is that there's an invisible floor for the ocean, but there technically is over there on the other side. Now, Artifact of the Brute is way, 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 way down here. I can actually see it. Any big fishes after me? Yeah, okay, we're good. This is the one thing I love about the center as well. It's massively, extremely deep ocean like this part is the insane part of uh the center alone so anyways that's the last artifact let's get back home i will quickly build up a bunch of displays for them and we will show them off and then next episode here we should be ready to fight the alpha broodmother and the alpha i honestly sorry i couldn't remember what they're called Megapithecus or the Alpha Center bosses. So hopefully this is a pretty good fight. I'm hoping, I'm really, really hoping that the Pyromanes don't like die immediately. I understand once they're in water, they lose uh a like a shoot like a buttload of their armor. So we need to be careful. Okay, guys, so here are all of our artifacts. This will be all 11 for the center. Now, technically, I did not have to get all 11 artifacts for the boss fight. Um, here is even the Devious. The Devious, it turns out, it doesn't actually have a display thing like this. And that was because it was originally a removed artifact and they never added a, a display for it. Hopefully, they add one in here for ASA. 
Um, although I highly doubt it, you know. But anyways, so I have uh, decided that I need to be a little bit more professional when like doing my outros and intros. So this here is actually going to be one of my first of my new outros. Um, it's one that I kind of try to like keep the one that I normally do and we get everything out. Um, I am working on a mid-roll, so that way we could advertise the YouTube channel of memberships. I'm just going to do that right now. If you guys don't know, I have YouTube channel memberships. It's $1.99, and uh, we have a goal of reaching 10 members right now. And once we hit that goal, we will be opening up an ARC server. So, alrighty, guys. That will be it for now. Oh, my God. I can't do my outro. I already messed it up. But you know the drill. I will get better at this. I need to practice this, but... Anyways, if you guys have found yourself enjoying this video at any time, please remember to leave a like and subscribe. Also remember to ring that notification bell so that way you guys can be notified upon me posting new videos. And like always, this has been Gunshy Moray, signing off. Peace out.